This video covers the use of the tools within the paint design tab of the program Digital Car Painter. The program is a PC based program that is available for download from the website www.digitalcarpainter.com. When the program first loads, there is an intro here that just runs through some of the ideas on how the program can be used. And if you've seen it before, just use the skip intro button to uh, bypass it. If you haven't seen it, it takes less than 30 seconds, and I would encourage you to uh, watch it at least once. It does give you some ideas. The program will work with anything that you can take a, a photograph of. Any object within a photograph can be identified as paintable, and uh, you can work with that object. So planes, trains, automobiles, boats, people, you name it. So in the previous video, the videos are available under the Demo tab. We defined the object within an image or a photograph that we wanted to work with, it being a 61 Thunderbird. So I'm going to go ahead and load that Thunderbird right now. So there it is there. So there's the image. All of the painted areas, paintable areas, are, are have been defined, and all of the non-paintable areas have likewise been defined in the background mask tab. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we will color this car. So we're going to recolor it, and we'll maybe go to a make it green. Okay. So now what we're, we're going to do is uh, define some shapes and turn this into a two-tone car. So we'll go here, and we'll define our shapes. We're just loosely following the body contours. You can see there's a very fine line that's being uh, drawn as we go. Uh, and then I can go outside the area here. And when I get to this end here where I can basically close the loop without cutting off any areas that I want to paint, I just click End Shape. Now the shape is clearly defined. So, but I've got a problem here. I didn't follow the contour very well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this solid, or sorry, the round pick point. It will become solid. That's indicating that we can now move it. And we will do that. So just basically pull it into line. Okay. So then the next thing I want to do is I want to do the hood scoop and make it the same color. So we'll do that. So we'll define a shape. We'll start in the center of the hood scoop just because it's a nice reference point. Click, come to the back, all the way, come here, come here, and close the shape. All right, so looks like this could maybe uh, be pulled in just a bit. So we'll click here, pull this in just a tad, something like that, and that's good. And we'll do a third shape just for the sake of illustration. So we'll go way outside the body, come down to this point here. Across, we're just going to do the roof, so we'll go up and across. And again, I'm just going to hit end shape, and that'll close the loop. And that looks pretty good. So, now anytime I want to get rid of these defined shapes and just see what the overall image looks like with, with an uncluttered view, just click outside the car anywhere, and the shapes will disappear. If I want to change one or some of these, one, some, or all of these shapes, I need only click on the shape, click on shape color, change the color. Click on the shape, click on shape color, and we'll just for illustration's sake go here. We'll pick up a yellow, okay. You see yellow gets added in my colors, so there we are. And um, we'll just leave it at that. So you can change shapes and colors. You can move shapes around. If I click on a shape and, and click in the center of that shape and move it around, I can do that. So if I wanted to, to replicate a shape, I can do that just by moving it around. Um, so yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, once you're done, you're happy with your work. You can print. You, you can do a print preview of it. Uh, you can print it full, like a full page. If you have a color printer, you can obviously this exits the program. Uh, you can save your work. So we just click on save, and we'll call it uh, Tritone. Tritone T-Bird. 
Now, you, when you save it, you get this message. Do you want to save your, uh, sorry, do you want to save your current design session? What this is effectively asking you is if you want to do, this is a work in progress and you want to come back and pick up where you left off, say yes. If this is a finished product, say no. In all cases, you can say yes if you wish. Um, and I'll show you what happens. So when I say yes, that's fine. It all goes away. So when I come back to load my car and pick up the Thunderbird again, it'll ask me, do you want to restore your last design session? So if I say yes, there it is. It picks up exactly where I left off. So, and from here I can start working and uh, continue working with it. So the program is very flexible. Uh, you can do all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes just by clicking various um, points along. And then if I come here and here and here and here and here and there and there, and now click end shape, so now I get a very strange looking shape, but you can see, uh, you can do just about anything you wish. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do have questions or ideas for improvements or suggestions, we can be reached by email uh, on our website at www.digitalcarpainter.com. Uh, enjoy.